OK, as you can see here, the contents from Kensoft PH and let's select some of these. Selected item. OK, it's working. What's up? I am back. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a simple web scraping application in JavaFX. So um, we are going to use the JSOP API or JSOP library to extract data from a website. The use of JSOP API is to extract and manipulate data. Before we get started, we need to download the API at jsop.org and go to the download page. If you are using the Java Ant, you need to download the jar file. And if you are using Maven, you don't need to download the jar file. Instead, use the dependency. Alright, so I'm going to use the uh, jar file. And I don't need to download this because I downloaded one. And let's go here, the scene builder. What I have here are labels, labels and a list view. At the list view, I set the unique ID, list view, and the label, label from, selected item. Okay. Now let's go here at the NetBeans and make the code. Before, before that, you need to import the library JSON jar file. Right click and add jar of or folder. Okay, now I'm going to type document doc to connect the website. So JSOP that connect URL. So um, HTTPS. I'm going to connect my website. Kensoftph.com. Get. Okay, and what's wrong here? Unsupported IO exception. And to use this, you need to import the document and JSOP. This one, these two here. All right. So, to check if we are connected to the website, simply print the website title. So, document that title. This means that we will display the website title in the cons in the console. So, let's try to run the application if we are connected to the website. All right, so we are connected to the website. As you can see here, it displayed the Kensoft PH. So let's proceed. Um, first, I'm going to comment this line of code here and let's proceed. So let's try to um, extract the H3 tag in the website elements elements is equals to doc that get elements by tag and then I'm going to print I'm going to type the h3 tag here and import the elements you need to choose the from JSOP and use for loop <clears throat> and I'm going to type another element. From elements. Okay, and import the element nodes. Alright. So let's try to print print up those H3 in the console. Alright, so let's run the program. Nice. So you can see here, we are displaying the H3 tags. All right. And let's proceed to the to our application here. 
what we're going to do next is to display the um, contents in our last view. Let's close this and let's remove that and define a string here and items. I'm going to name it as items is equals to element dot text and I'm going to use the list view list view that's that get items and add string all right so let's try to run Okay, we are here, the h3 tags are here in our list view node. So what I'm going to do what I'm going to do next is to print the item here at the selected item and the website title here. So what I'm going to do now is to Set the website title LBL from set text dot that title and select the items. So I'm going to use a change listener here. Let's view that get selection modal that. selected item property and add listener and I'm going to use the lambda expression okay so now let's view that get selection model that get selected item and use the label Selected item. Set text. Selected item. First, I'm going to use this one a string item. All right, and define the item here. Contents from. All right, so I think it's good, and let's run the program. Okay, as you can see here, the contents from Kensoft PH, and let's select some of these. Selected item. Okay, it's working. How about H2? Alright, so that's how you make a simple web scraping application in Java. If you want to learn more, just go here at the cookbook page and explore something here. Load document from a file like this one. Um, I hope you learned something in this tutorial. Please don't forget to like, subscribe comment and share and I will see you in the next video.